Well, hello, everybody. This is By My Spirit Radio with Douglas Allen Frazier. And we are continuing our program of the 36 Days of Prayer, Intercession, and Learning prior to the November 8th presidential election here in the United States. So get ready. I believe we are on day nine. So let's get ready. This is going to be a special message that I think you will greatly enjoy. Yes, I know you're going to enjoy this because this is going to be a message which I am basically going to read to you with some side comments. It's coming from a woman, Lana Vosser, from Brisbane, Australia. And she is a very gifted woman of God. And she has been with other people outside of the United States, been praying for this election. She wrote a recent article And the name of that article is Pray for Discernment, a vision of the spirit of deception over the U.S. elections. Now, what have we been talking about and praying about in the last few episodes? It has to do with the fact that that we need discernment, spiritual discernment, especially within the body of Christ. There is so much, so much discussion going on within the Christian community where there is truly a spirit of deception, a religious spirit, just a feeling that People within the church are really lost when it comes to what are we really voting about. Is it two individuals, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton? Yes, they are the candidates, but there is much, much more at concern, and it is primarily the United States of America and how we will continue on. Let me go through what Lana has showed us, what the Lord showed her, and then we will pray at the end. But I want you to pay attention tonight, today, wherever you are. And Lana goes on. She said, I recently had an encounter where the Lord showed me an assignment of the enemy that is about to be released into the body of Christ in the United States of America regarding the U.S. election that is about to take place, and I'll put the date, November the 8th, 2016. She goes on, Before I share this encounter with you, I want to state, and I want to make this clear, Since I felt the Lord speak of Donald and Trump in this encounter, firstly, I am not releasing this word from a political standpoint. Go again. She is not releasing this word from any political standpoint of reviewing any policies or agenda. I am simply releasing this word from an encounter that I had with the Lord and felt a strong urgency to release it. Secondarily, she says this, Considering the video that was released about Trump from 2005, I do want to say that the Lord does not condone sin, and by releasing this encounter, I'm not condoning any of Donald Trump's past actions. No one is. Not me, not others. It is a fact. This was a bad situation for him. Now Lana goes on. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are of old. 
Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Psalm 25, 6 through 7. I would add that goes for anybody in any place and for any situation. Lana goes on, I felt an urgency to publish this encounter as a warning to the body of Christ. I'll put it this way, if you are a churchgoer, doesn't matter what denomination you're in or where you're located, this is a word for today in the season that we are in right now. There are spirits of deception being released from hell. I would say they were already released, and they have been out for a long time. Lana goes on. She said, In this encounter, I was standing in what looked like a commission room. A commission room in hell with so much darkness around me. I saw the enemy, and he was about to release a horde of demons upon the earth into the United States with a specific target against believers. Yes, Satan does have assignments that would go against believers. And I say for many of you, believe it or not. What I noticed about these demonic spirits, says Lana, was that they had blindfolds in their hands and they were ready to move. I asked Jesus, I asked the Holy Spirit what these demonic spirits were, and he said they were the spirits of deception. My people that are not pressing in for discernment and to hear my heart concerning the U.S. election and who I have anointed for the next presidential term, who are not crying out for the wisdom and discernment of heaven. They will be brought to a place right now in this season where they will be blinded by deception. She goes on, This army that is about to be released into the body of Christ in the USA are coming to blind people to the truth that I have anointed Donald Trump and Mike Pence and the people of God need to hear that they need to keep pressing in for discernment, despite what the media and the natural world says. These things are going to continue to escalate with intense pressure to push Donald Trump out. What have we just seen, folks? What have we just seen from the Republican Party itself basically shunning Donald Trump and some newspaper media folks even asking Donald Trump if he was going to stay in? And he said, yes, I'm going all the way to the end. Lana continues, but my people need to take their place and stand with me to see my purposes come to fruition. There's an upgrade of spiritual insight that is coming from heaven, and we need to pray for discernment. I'm asking each one of you, I'm asking each one of you to pray for the gift of discernment, that your eyes might be open to the truth, that you will not be blinded, that your ears will be open to the truth, that you will hear not just the media, but you will hear from God exactly what he would have you to do. As Lana continues, the sense surrounded me that this is a very strategic moment, a time of urgency and a time to pray even more fervently. This is a sense of laying down agendas, and simply seeking the heart of God for this new season for the nation of America that is approaching. I actually sensed a very strong upgrade of spiritual insight and vision 
coming to the body of Christ in the USA regarding the blueprints and destiny for the nation of the United States that the Lord is going to release. I saw him releasing this sight from a place of surrender and crying out to the Lord like David did in Psalm 24, verses 4 through 5, where he, David says, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and my hope is all in, is in you all day long. So Lord, right now we come before you and we come before you crying out, even as David did, that you would show us your ways, that you would teach us your paths, that you would guide us, that you would guide us into your truth, that you would allow us to see as we have never seen before and realize what is before us so that we might understand that we have a great input into the full direction of this nation. Lana goes on. I felt this reminder for from the Lord to his people in the USA to be praying for discernment right now, to lift up their eyes up higher. Place not your eyes on the media or on the natural, but really continue seeking the heart of God. I felt such a strong sense of an increase in onslaught in this U.S. election in the last leg. And God's people are going to need eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit is saying more than ever before. Seek the heart of God above all else. As I have sat with the Lord on his word, I have felt the Lord's heart for his people to not get caught up in what is going on in the natural. The very heart of this word ultimately was I felt a call from the Lord for his people to come up higher, to come up higher, to not be bound up by what is being reported or what is not being reported. The fate of the United States as a nation does not hang on man. It's in the hand of the Lord, and the onus is on the church right now. I believe Jesus is calling his people in the light of everything going on in this messy situation in the USA with Clinton and Trump. To seek his heart above all else. Put your hope in Jesus. To cry out for the Lord to bring a cleansing and a turning in this nation. To really individually continue to seek out what God would have for you. To ask the Spirit of God to give eye salve so there may be clear spiritual sight regarding this election and the destiny of the United States. In Revelation 3.18 it says this, Also buy white garments from me, so you will not be shamed by your nakedness, and ointment for your eyes, so you will be able to see. This is not just about Donald Trump and Mike Pence, Lana goes on, but this is about the destiny and the fate of the United States of America. The Lord sees beyond just today. He sees beyond just this election. And it's time to really seek his heart and his ways. This is really a time of repentance for America and calling forth the plans and purposes of God in the nation and a surrendering of agendas to align with his ways even when we don't understand. I will have to add, I have been one of those that in the early portions of this election, during the primaries primarily, I was one of those who didn't fully understand. And I listened to others, and they helped to open my eyes and my ears. 
so that now, though my primary choice or choices did not make the cut of the American people, Donald Trump and Mike Pence have been set on center stage to move forward. And I thank you for the wisdom and the understanding and my willingness not to be caught up in the great disappointment, but to see that there is a greater thing to happen when we move forward and move those away from us and from our nation that would tear us down as has been noted over and over again by the lies and deceptions within the Clinton camp. Lana goes on, It's time to stand in the gap more than ever before for a move of God in the United States. I felt that this is a very strategic moment right now. The fate and the destiny of the nation hangs in the balance. And I would add, it hangs in the balance and the fate and destiny of our nation will be totally the responsibility of the Church of the United States, which makes up some numbers, say, up to 50 million voters. And yet only 25 million ever come out to vote. We're saying now is the time for the voice of God to be heard through his people to see us move forward. I want to thank Lana Vosser for being open to hearing what God would have to say, that she would pray for our nation to move us forward, to move us forward. So, Lord, right now, I thank you for your word, for your care, for your plans for this nation that are limitless. There are plans and there are plans and there are plans, but yet it is you, Lord, You are the only one that can restore this nation. So people, I am saying to you, look for the Lord to restore the nation. But do not be deceived. Do not be deceived by the natural things that you hear, the natural things that you hear and see. Because they are all designed to remove your focus, to distract you, and to destroy the very fabric of this nation. Let's put it this way. Satan will be very happy to see this nation fall. And at this point, at this point, we are in a very high strategic place in our history. And we need to see the hand of God move us back where he would have us to go. You and I are the ones that have a responsibility to pray and intercede for a great transformation, a great awakening, a great new calling out, a calling out that will change the course of this nation. Put it this way, if we don't do it now, when will we ever do it? This is Douglas Allen Frazier closing out this session of By My Spirit Radio as we continue to pray and intercede and learn what we need to do to see our nation moved forward into what God would have us to do to support His people 
and to let his justice and judgment come. It is that time. It is our time. And don't lose the opportunity. We will see you next time. We will see you here or there or in the air.